my flies to you, but stay in. Today is December 17th, 2022. So I thought I would um, show what is on my walls hanging up. So here we have Morning Glory by Nora Corbett. I think she's on 32 Count Mushroom. Below her is Miss Black Swallowtail. She is on 28 Count Rubius by Picture This Plus. Here, this is Snowman Sampler. I want to say it's Country. Oh, what is it? Country Needlework? I'll see if I can find it and put it below. Here, Lavender and Lace, Angel of Spring on 32 Count Twilight Blue. This is Glendon Place, um, Frosty's Caper. It is on Stormy. I think it's on 32 count. It could be a 28 count. Um, next to that, here. This is a Sue Hillis design. I don't think she named it. It's one of her post stitches. And I don't remember if they have titles or not. Here we have Celtic Autumn in the original colors, 32 count antique white, lavender and lace is the designer. Below that is an out of print sampler called Sonata. It's stitched in Gloriana silk on a 32 count twilight blue. The little angel, okay, where, there we go, here is a Just Nan. I can't, I have the whole series of angels and I've stitched all of them. I want to say that one is one of the later ones. I want to say it's called Ariel. That frame is actually from a thrift store and it's just perfect for that piece. I'll see if I can find the specific pattern. Up here, this used to be a clock here. That's, um, Miss Solar Eclipse or Ellipse Ellipse by Nora Corbett on 32 count Phoenix by Picture This Plus. I'm gonna move here, so please don't get dizzy. Well, we'll do this here and here. Those are both Queen Anne's Lace by Nora Corbett. It originally was in a Just Cross Stitch magazine issue from 2016. The bottom one is 32 count Jobelin. It's called Georgia Peach. It's fabrics by LJ. He does not dye fabrics anymore. And that also was a thrift store frame. Above it is also Queen Anne's Lace, except that's my color conversion. And I did a video where I told you exactly what I used where and how I did the sweater and the boots which was not hard at all. Um, but that is on 32 count Jobelin Ice Princess under the sea fabrics. And I have my tree. I'll go around here in a minute. But I wanted to show the baby tree here. The baby tree here has all cross-stitched ornaments. So this is the Naughty or Nice Berry Erica Michaels. It's a 32 count, I think it's natural, it's possibly flax. Then I have all nine of the Little House Needleworks um, Farmhouse Christmas series uh, as charted. This is 32 count, it's either flax or natural. It uses the, the called for. I don't remember what the called for is. This is also Erica Michaels, naughty or nice until proven, nice until proven naughty. Um, I made it into a little cushion. I just stitched some fabric down here and then hand sewed some buttons just to add a little little extra. It's not hanging on the tree. It's just set in this little tree. Here, this was made by a friend for me. I believe it's a shepherd's bush pattern. It's po yeah, I believe it's a shepherd's bush. I don't know the exact name. Um, this was made for me a number of years ago. It's embroidered. Um, 
And this one was also made for me a number of years ago as a gift. So we have one, two, three, four, there's number, there's five, not necessarily the order they were released, six, seven, eight is right next to it, and nine, right here. Okay, this one was a gift. It's a Blackbird design. I believe it's called Winter Delivery. I do not know the fabric. This was also a gift given to me. And I, I don't know the designer. Um, this one was stitched by me. It needs to be restitched. It got stained. Um, it's stitched with a Fiberlicious Fiber. And it's from one of the um, Just Cross Stitch Christmas ornament issues. I... I'm guessing 2015 because that's the year I have stitched on it. <clears throat> and this is stitched by my mom. And a few others on here from it from my mom. So let's go over here. First on the other side of the clock here. This is Miss Lole's Dagger Wing. It is on Hidden Treasures 32 Count by Fiberlicious. That is another design by Nora Corbett. I really like that series. And I have one more of them started. I have all six patterns, but um, I have one more of them started. She's just not, not ready to display. And here is a Mirabilia, Lady of the Mist. She's on 32 count antique white. And she's just gorgeous. This is uh, Joy to the World. I want to say it's a Lizzie Kate. I could be wrong. Um, that fabric pretty much stood on itself. I don't like that kind of fabric, but I stitched it. Um, I don't have the pattern anymore. But that that's how I finished it on a plaque, and I did the cording and just some little Christmas picks and some bells. This is also a Just Nan Angel. I believe this one's called Hope. 32 count antique white. Um, she has some specialty stitches in her, but she's beautiful. These Just Nan Angels are really a joy to stitch. And on this tree, I don't have any stitched ornaments. But above, over here, a One Nation bygone stitches on a 32 count antique country mocha. I use the DMC alternative. I don't know if the white is coming across on camera, but it does come across in real life. Lavender and lace in the arms of an angel. I wanna say it's 32 count mushroom. I, I don't know, I don't remember the fabric. I stitched her without the wings. That was an option on the pattern and that's the option I chose to do. And this skin is all one over one. Celtic Noel or Celtic Christmas by Lavender and Lace on 32 count antique white. This one is Anemone. An 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 enemy. I'm probably saying that totally wrong. This is 32 count cafe. Oh, it's a Fiberlicious Cafe, um, it's not Cafe Misto. I'll have to see if I can find record of it. This was a clock from Hobby Lobby, and I just took out the parts and mounted her in there. This one. Come on. Okay, this is Guardian Angel by Lavender and Lace. This is my first piece of this type, um... I hadn't been stitching for very long and I wanted a challenge and this is what the shopkeeper challenged me. It's on uh, 32 count Wittenberg or 28 count Wittenberg. 
I don't think that fabric is made anymore. But this is the last piece that I ever did to MC Metallic. Because then I found a cranic. And now I like Petite Treasure Braid. Lavender and Lace. Celtic Summer. Called for colors. 32 count antique white. Barnwood Buttons by Rosewood Manor on the called for fabric, which is Barnwood. I cannot remember if it's 28 count or 32 count. I did change the verse. I don't remember what the saying was, but I changed it to Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8 and it fit. I didn't have to change the size of the letters. Um, it might have had one extra box in the original phrase, so you can do that on your pieces. This is this does use the called for mother of pearl buttons. <clears throat> Excuse me. My mom has stitched this and she used a bunch of antique buttons for my great grandmother. Um, with the exception of the butterfly button to the upper left, she had to find that one. But other than that, she used a, from the antique button collection that we have. And I mounted this on. Really, Mozzie? It's my dog. Um, it was a kind of a plaque, and so I stretched it around the plaque. Yellow Submarine, uh, Blackbird Designs. This is on 32 count NYX NYX by Under the Sea Fabrics. I pulled from my own overdyes. I did not necessarily use the called for. And it's 36 count, I hope I said that. Uh, one strand over two threads. And the frame I found at Hobby Lobby. This was a collaboration with Little House Needleworks and Gentle Arts. I think it's available though for purchase. But I bought it where if you bought the threads you got the pattern free. It is on 32 count natural. Or no, this is flax. And stitched in the called for colors. I did that in 2016. I This is a canvas, an art canvas. And I just painted that and then mounted it with a cording around. This is my 25th anniversary sampler. It is by... Um, Stony Creek Designs using the call for colors on the called for fabric, which is a green Kesha linen. Um, it's supposed to be their 20th anniversary for the magazine, but I changed it to 25 years for my husband and myself. And it's uh, framed at Stitchville. Um, it uses a variety of of fibers, and there's just there's some satin star satin stars and back stitching and regular cross stitch. I'm going to show you this. This is not Hardanger. This is just regular cross stitch and then you have a bead in the center. Because it's you know 25 years is uh, silver, I changed the beads to silver instead of the pearls that were called for in the pattern. And up above the 20th anniversary, it says 25th that I did that in silver. Probably should have kept the white. It's kind of hard to read the silver, but it's up, it's done. I'm not <laughs> changing it. So those are my pieces that are framed on my wall upstairs. Although I did take one, two down for Christmas time. Um, I will do another video of the ones that are finished but not framed. And I hope all of you have a blessed season. Bye.